In this video, we're going to talk about accelerometers. Accelerometers are devices that can be integrated into an object to measure static acceleration of gravity, giving you the orientation of the device, or dynamic acceleration caused by motion, shock, or vibration. For the most part, accelerometers are sensors that integrate MEMS technology. MEMS is defined as microelectromechanical systems. Usually, accelerometers use capacitive sensing, or the piezoelectric effect, to sense acceleration. Accelerometers measure in g-forces and can measure on one, two, or three axes. They can have an analog, digital, or a PWM signal output. With the help of MEMS sensors, accelerometers are now being used in mobile devices, gaming systems, disk drive protection, image stabilization, and sports devices. Most accelerometers are low-power devices. They operate at a low voltage, typically 5 or 3.3 volts, and only consume a few micro or milliamps. This makes them ideal for battery-powered devices. Now, let's try to use an analog accelerometer and see how it works. This breakout board from SparkFun has the ADXL337 accelerometer from analog devices. The ADXL337 accelerometer has three analog outputs for X, Y, and Z axes, and we will connect to the A0, A1, and A2 ADC pins of an Adafruit Metro, respectively. Take note that this accelerometer only operates from a 1.8 to 3.6 volt power supply. In this case, we will use the 3.3 volt onboard power supply of the Adafruit Metro. The self-test pin will be connected to ground. The code I'm using is a code provided by SparkFun to evaluate the ADXL337 breakout board. Though the accelerometer and the Adafruit Metro operate at different voltage levels, this won't be a problem since the code automatically shifts the output of the accelerometer to make it compatible to the Adafruit Metro. After that, the code scales the output into readable units measured in G-forces and then prints the results to the serial monitor. Now, let's upload the code and monitor the Arduino IDE serial monitor. As you can see, the readings from the accelerometer are printed to the serial monitor. Now, let's try to move or tilt the breakout board and see the changes in the serial monitor. Here, you can see the values of the acceleration in all three axes, X, Y, and Z. The ADXL337 measures acceleration with a minimum full-scale range of plus or minus 3G. The smaller the range, the more sensitive the readings will be from the accelerometer. However, for applications such as concussion and head trauma detection, or high-force event detection, wide-range accelerometers are more suitable to be used. I hope you enjoyed this video from DigiKey. Thanks for watching.